So a super quick update, iOS 26 beta 5 ended up coming around and you know it's a quick update when I have to pull out my iPhone to go and kind of record it. Now, I didn't want to go to sleep without going through and making a video on this because there are a few changes within iOS 26 beta 5. Now, I did install it on my iPhone 12 Pro. This is the current, you know, this is the oldest, one of the older phones on this version of software. And I realized as soon as you install iOS 26 beta 5, there are so many, it takes like a good three minutes for it to like really kind of solidify. The first three minutes of using it after are like super buggy, and then it kind of gets into it. So if you first install it, it's going to be pretty buggy. The update size was pretty big as well. So if you look right here, coming from, I think, two generations of beta go, it was 2.96 gigabytes, but I remember updating it to beta 4. So I feel like this isn't even what it should be. I feel like it was actually the size coming from beta 4. The release log tells us that the beta will get a lot of improvements in this type of update, so on and so forth, and then I just basically installed it. There are a couple of improvements here, which I actually do like a lot. So number one, it looks like there's kind of these new splash screens, some updated icons, and some bouncy OS animations. That's what Apple Insider is saying. So it looks like inside of some applications, there's going to be some newer types of improvements. From what I've heard, let's see if I'm able to open this so I am. From what I've heard, there isn't a change in liquid glass. So from the previous beta to this one, it looks like it's basically the same exact thing. So it actually looks pretty nice here. And I wonder how this is gonna hold up in terms of the performance side. I also have to clip my nails. On top of that, there are these new toggles in the camera application. So if you open up the camera app, there are these new types of, there's like a new type of layout, which is really nice. Now you can also swipe back and forth by swiping now, but the swiping toggle is different. If you first install it, it's going to swipe the opposite way, but there's this new setting inside of the settings application. If you go inside of the camera portion of your settings, you scroll all the way down, there's this new option that says classic mode switching. This should now allow you to go through and basically you know, switch your camera so then you can swipe the right way. So it's not gonna swipe the opposite way, it's basically going to swipe the right way, which is exactly what you'd want. I do like the new layout of this camera UI. I think it actually looks pretty nice, but it's, you know, it looks just like Vision OS, which is actually so funny, the things they have on the Apple Vision Pro. Now, on top of that, another important thing from what we can tell is that there's going to be just overall more improvements in this version of software. It's still not perfect. There's going to be lots of glitches. I'm going to test it on all my other iPhones. I'm going to see how it kind of holds up. And I'll let you all kind of, you know, have an update sooner rather than later on how this update is going to be holding up. But, you know, like I said before, I still would not recommend installing this update. But honestly, for the first few minutes, it was bad, but now it's actually kind of leveled out. But it still has that glitch when I swipe down. You can see as soon as I let go, kind of, it just kind of, it gets a little wonky, but it actually looks a little bit nicer here. So when you swipe up and out of the way, it kind of refreshes your board every time, which is kind of annoying. But actually, it's kind of becoming a better version of software. I'll have to test it a little bit further, but that's kind of iOS 26 beta 5. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that'll mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.